How's it going everyone? It's Lee again from Function Dynamic and this will be another question and answer video because I had recently got a question asking whether you can integrate Zoho Creator with uh, custom fields inside Zoho Books. And if this question was asked about a year ago, I would have said yes, but it is highly codependent. Now, with Zoho Flow, things are made a lot easier, so you don't really need any coding experience with this. And for those of you unaware, uh, custom fields inside Zoho Books are things you can add. So looking at uh, Zoho Books right now, we would, to add one, you'd go over to Settings, go down to Preferences, and then over in this column right here, we can see uh, the different uh, modules here. So we have estimates, invoices, uh, etc. cetera. Uh, for this, let's just take a look at invoices, go to field customization, and we can add a new custom field over at the top. So this is how you would add it. Um, for this demonstration, what I've done is gone over into uh, Zoho Creator, spun up a new little application, <laughs> really a big application it's a single form with a, uh, a multi-line field that is a note now uh, i've often seen this before when integrating between creator or crm and books oftentimes we'll see a note uh attached you might want to send that along with an invoice so for demonstration purposes this is what i've done now you can imagine that there's a lot of other fields related to a sale or an estimate um, but for now this will do um, so what you would do is, uh, let's go over to create a flow first and I'll show you the difference. So I'll say custom field and press create, then go over to, uh, we want to choose app up here, press configure. And since we're, we want Creator to uh, update a, a custom field inside Zoho Books, we'll start with Creator. Select that and press Next. Um, you can either do it on Created or Updated. Again, you might probably do both in the future, but we'll do Created here. And if you haven't used Zoho uh, Flow before or haven't set up a connection, you would just uh, press, it would prompt you to create a connection. It just follow the prompts and that will create the authorization between the services. Um, and in the, in the variable name, this is just for us to um, identify specific variables in the flow. And I'll cover that in just a second. Um, we'll just say create a record. And for application, these are all the applications inside our Zoho Creator platform. Um, I'll choose custom fields. And uh, since there's only the one form sale with one field, uh, we'll, uh, that is chosen for us. So I'll press done. And then the next is we want to uh, pass that over to Zoho Books into a custom field. Um, so we want the data to flow from the creator record to the books record. So I'll go over and type in books. Keep in mind that you can also see that there's fresh books and QuickBooks as well. So it does, it's not necessarily limited to Zoho books, but, um, we'll go into Zoho books and let's create an invoice and we'll say, uh, we'll call the variable name books invoice and the organization will choose the one I'm on and I'll just select uh, my own demo account for the uh, customer ID now in the previous uh, in the previous Q&A uh, video uh, I showed how we can pass this in dynamically but for this I'll just hard code it and then just push done. So as you can see, we don't have any um, custom, custom fields in here right now. Um, but that is because on the organization, 
in Zoho Books, we do not have a uh, custom field. So let's throw that in there. So I'll just create, uh, just to make it really obvious for you guys, I'll type in, uh, in caps, uh, my custom field, select the data type. And we'll, since it was a multi-line in creator, we'll put it as a multi-line here and then just press save. So now we have a new bold and obnoxious uh, field here called my custom field. We'll go back over to Zoho Flow, push refresh, and it's, and if I go into, I'll give it a second to spin up. And if I go into here, we can now see that we can pass in uh, my custom field. So uh, to, to add this in dynamically, what we do is over in the right hand column over here, we can see that uh, we have access to the creator record. So we just push select this and then select the field. And that's all you have to do. And so if I just push done uh, and then turn the flow on, that means anytime the record is created, it is going to, the data is going to flow from there into books and also pass in the specified um, custom field, which is fairly simple and uh, easy to set up. So yeah, thank you for the question. And if any of you else have anything else you'd like to cover, feel free to leave a comment in the comment sections below. Whether you already have a creator application, are looking to get started, or just want to have a one-on-one -on -one conversation to get pointed in the right direction, always feel free to reach out to us at Function Dynamic by going to www.functiondynamic.com, click the Contact Us link, and fill in the Get Started form. Once filled in, you will automatically receive an email with a link to schedule a time that works best for you. This was Lee from Function Dynamic. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.